And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Iguana Colossus, which was a request from Elrex via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. Iguana Colossus was an Iguanodontian ornithopod that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Utah, found in the yellow cat member of the Cedar Mountain Formation. It looks a lot like Iguanodon. It's bipedal. It's got the hoof-like hands and the bulky body. It's also about the same size as Iguanodon. And it's herbivorous. It's estimated to be 29 and a half feet or 9 meters long. That's not a colossus. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's even... Isn't that smaller than Iguanodon? Oh, you said it's about the same size as Iguanodon? Yeah, it's about the same size. I feel like Iguana Colossus needs to be way bigger than Iguanodon to get that name. Uh, I, it's still sizable. I'm disappointed. Anyway, it's estimated to weigh between one and four tons. Hmm. <laughs> Karen is not impressed. <laughs> it was found in 2005 by Donald DeBlieu near Green River, and teams led by the Utah Geological Survey excavated it. Iguana Colossus was described and named in 2010 by Andrew McDonald and others, and it was named in the same paper as Hippodraco, which we covered back in episode 322, if you want to listen to that one. The type species is Iguana Colossus Fortis, and the full name means Mighty Iguana Colossus. And it refers to the iguana-like teeth of Iguanodontians and its large size. In the paper, it's described as a, quote, somewhat ponderous beast with robust limbs. Interesting. Yeah. The holotype is UMNHVP 2025. It's a large partial skeleton that includes parts of the tail, most of the backbone, some ribs, hips, and shoulder. There weren't any legs or leg parts found. It's possible the legs were dragged off by a predator. It also includes parts of the skull, including part of the right jaw and two loose teeth. The teeth were compared to Camptosaurus and Dakotodon, and one tooth, which is the broader one with a shield-shaped crown, was thought to be a dentary, and the other, which was, quote, the more lozenge-shaped crown, <laughs> was thought to be a maxillary tooth. It's funny, something funny about describing a tooth in terms of something you would swallow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I definitely had to read that one twice. Like, oh, is that what I think it is? <laughs> lozenge. <laughs> so a guanacolosis is distinguished by having a contact surface from the supraoccipital to the squamosal, so skull elements, that is, quote, sinuous in caudal view. So a very, very specific feature of one of the skull bones mm -hmm. is different than other iguanodontians. Yes. Compared to relatives that lived around the same time but in different areas, iguana colossus seems to be more basal. So Europe and North America were joined at the time, but Iguana Colossus was more primitive, so the Iguanodons from American Europe probably didn't interact with each other. But Jim Kirkland said in a Salt Lake Tribune article, quote, it suggests the Appalachia Mountains were more like the Himalaya back then. It must have been a more formidable barrier than previously thought, end quote. Iguana Colossus was probably a few million years older than Hippodraco. It's one of the earliest known Cretaceous dinosaurs found in North America. And both Iguana Colossus and Hippodrago help show diversity of Iguanodonts in North America. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place as Iguana Colossus included the sauropod, Mierosaurus, and theropods like Falcarius and Gemini Raptor. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.